Well, that's a pretty excited timeline of events there. I heard some rustling in the woods here behind me and looked down, I had three doe like five yards from me. I was hoping they'd take this path and they'd come out into here to this field behind me, but they went that way to the other field. Just weird they came up this way. And uh, next thing you know, as I'm watching them, I hear some stuff rustling way behind me in the field here. So I look back and here's like four doe just running around acting all crazy. I'm not sure if they got spooked by something or what they were doing. Next thing you know, I, heard, I, heard, I thought I heard some rustling down here behind me, but I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was just a squirrel or a bird or something. But these deer, these four deer behind me or whatever kept looking down. I'm like, all right, there's something coming. There's either another deer or another doe or a buck or something. So I'm watching, watching, watching. And I saw that buck just through the trees here. So that's why I had my bow, got the camera on him, I got ready. Unfortunately, he picked my movement up just a little bit. He knew something was up up here, but he didn't know entirely. Of course, he had these tree branches right here blocking his view for most of the time. He stepped out to about 22, 21, 22 yards, drew my bow back, and I couldn't see through my peep. I have no idea what happened. You know, when your peep opens up it pulls up so you can see through it like this when my peep is like this so it was fine saturday that was the last time i used it pull it out tonight and go to look through the peep and it doesn't work a little frustrating but he's not the biggest buck that i got on the farm he was a good buck and i was definitely going to shoot him and like i said earlier i'm set up on fresh signs so i knew i had today to make it happen
right, so it looked like I spined her because she dropped instantly. That sun was in my eyes, and I should have waited. I don't think she didn't. She definitely didn't know I was here, and I don't think she was going far. If I would have waited about two or three minutes, that sun would have been down. I would have had a better shot. I turned the camera off, and when she was laying there, I put another one in her just to be sure. So she's expired now, and so we're just going to sit tight for the rest of the night here. I do have another doe tag, and I do have a buck tag, so... Again, it's good to break the ice, get the first deer down for the crew here, and get the ball rolling. You know, it should have been Wednesday, but we take our losses and, uh, you know, we keep moving, keep our head up. Don't let that discourage us. We got a doe down, first one of the year for us. Like I said, first deer with my compound and first deer out of a saddle, so, and first deer self-filmed. This doe is a first for everything, so I'm excited. I was already texting Brett. We're just gonna sit tight, wait for everybody else to get down, and then we'll get her loaded up here, get her taken care of. All right, so got down out of the stand here. We got Brett, Wheeler, Trav, and Kelsey. They came out to see her and uh, help take care of her. By the looks of it, the shot was maybe a little high, a little bit higher than I wanted, but I guess after looking at the footage, she did drop just a little bit. Nonetheless, like I said, we put that second one in her off camera. She expired right here where uh, she first shot her. And we were looking, she's got this broken foot down here all gangrene and, and stuff in it. So probably a good one to get out of here. We're gonna get her loaded up in the truck here, get her taken care of. This was uh, first doe with the compound, first deer at the compound, and first one out of the saddle, first self-filmed. Like I said, it's good to break the ice and get one going for the team here.